Hey y'all. Okay, so I know I've been missing in action. I have my reasons and y'all will soon know why. But today is the day that I actually get to go to the post office. This is a new client that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to the post office today and I'm going to send the first round of letters for the credit repair. So I'm not going to show you no personal information, but this is what I usually take with me. So I make sure I got the right address. I'm getting ready to use my envelope and put my stamp and all the information that I need to put on there so that I can send to them. But I think what I'm going to do today, I found these little envelopes in the car today when my husband took me to breakfast. So I think what I'm going to do instead this time, so that I don't have to fold the papers, I'm going to use one of these long envelopes. And then I'm going to put my stamp on it. So what I'm doing is, let me see if I can kind of show you the letter without showing you the person name. Okay, on this letter, like I said, the date is April 1st. I'm going to show you the person. I'm going to show you. It's April 1st, and this is the letter that I'm getting ready to send out. And you see I wrote all the, you know, all the negative accounts that's on that credit report on the letter that I created. So that we can dispute it. That's the first thing I do. That's the first round. And like I said, if you want to learn how to do this, we can sit down and I can show you, you know. But you got to be ready to do it. So that's the first thing I'm doing. I'm getting ready to send this letter. Also, what I'm going to send, make sure they name that on there. And this is somebody that's in our city. Um, you will see that I have the accounts listed and highlighted. So when they get it, they can know what um accounts that i'm referring to just in case they want to try to act like they don't have no sense so that's what i'm about to do right now um i'm about to package this before my um husband get here to take me to the um post office so that i can drop it off after i do that well let me let you know this when i when i send it i'm going to send it certified mail and i'm also going to get that little green card I'm going to have them put that on the back where it sends it back to me to let me know um, that it was signed and when it was signed. So, it's just like a little verification. And I think you should do that because that helps them help you keep track of what you did. So, when you get ready to move to the next step, you have the information you need. So, like I said, that's what I'm about to do. These are my stamps. I mean, you know, my little regular stamps. And I'm going to package everything. I usually use these type of envelopes and fold them. But I'm not going to do that. Like I said, I found these. So, they're going to be used today. And what I'll do is when I get ready to go to the post office, I'll show y'all what I'm going to do when I go to the post office. So, like I said, I'm getting ready. I always take this page out because this is my reference page to let you know where I'm sending it to. And then I'm going to take all of this stuff right here, make sure I got my letter, make sure I got my credit report. I'm going to put all of that in this envelope. And like I said, this is going to go certified mail, and you're just going to wait. You're going to wait. After I send this, once I get this sent um, off, I'm going to wait 30 days. So, the day April 1st, 2017, when I get my response back, I'll tell you what the next step can be. Like I say, sometimes they will just go ahead and delete it. Sometimes they don't. So, sometimes you have to go to the second step. But that just depends on what that next letter is that I get back. So, like I say... This one, this package is going to Equifax today. I'm going to send it off. When I get ready to get in the car, I'll let y'all see me going to the post office. I'm going to drop it off. Then when I get the reply back, we'll talk about that. All right, y'all. So, like I said, I'm using the big envelope. You can see, if you can see that, I'm sending it off today. I got my stamp. When I get to the post office, I'm going to send this certified mail. Um... And then after that, like I say, I'm going to wait 30 days. So, you see that it's packaged. Remember, this is April 1st, 2017. So, 30 days, 30 days. We're going to be waiting for some response back. And then we'll go over there and talk about what you should do in what instance. Because, like I say, on this one, I want to say it's 10 items. 
that's on there that I'm sending to them to dispute. So we'll see um what happens. The the thing you gotta understand about this is you can't give up. You gotta keep pushing. You're not you're not gonna always get the answer that you want the first round, but you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Don't give up, okay? So next time I come on, y'all gonna see me in the car actually going to the post office to drop it off and um send it off and get all my receipts and stuff that all right y'all now i'm at the post office about to mail this stuff off show y'all what to do it's not gonna be long i'll be back Let's see this is the post office i'm in line i'm about to mail this off i'm gonna show you what forms i'm talking about all right y'all see this is a little green slip you gonna need it's coming back to you. Yeah, it's going to come back to you. And that's that other green one right there is the certified mail. That's the one you want to see. Okay? And that's what we about to do right now. And I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So, I already done paid for my stuff. This was the little return card that I sent with it. It's going to come back to me when, once they get it. Also, you're going to see I have the certified mail. So, this is going to let me know who got it, who signed for it. And I'm just going to keep this in my file. So, that is the end of the first process. And then, once I get my letters back, I will see you guys again. And we'll talk about the next step. Bye.